Hello, North Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 3. How the heck are you? Oh, boy. I don't even remember what we were doing last episode. It's been, seems like, a week from Hades. Uh, a pancake dome? What is that from? Um, on Eve. Huh. How many years do I have that? 25 years? Yeah, I'll take that. We might be able to do something like that. Build a new orbital station around the moon. Eh. Eh. Not really. I don't really want to do that. Okay. Oh, we were doing Ike. Okay, that's right. <laughs> okay, so we have our lander already landed on on Ike. And I had uh, did this rendezvous off camera where I uh, got these two ships ready to uh, to attach. Um, and I'm going to try to, um, are you serious right now? This is doing the same thing. God dang robotic parts. Someone said it's auto struts. Let me try that. Oh, that is it. Cool. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. And there's no freaking RCS on these either. No. All right. So let's just see if I can just kill my relative speed here. Alright, yeah, I did not put RCS on these because I, I did not foresee needing it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I probably will need it, though. I probably will need it. Um, hmm. What should I do here, guys? Should I try to connect these and dump the remainder of the fuel off? Or not? I feel like it's a waste not to. Let's go ahead and see if we can extend this other one here. At the same time, yep, uh, turn off all the struts, please. Maybe we can at least get close enough that, uh, I need to close this, I don't need that. Maybe we can get close enough that we won't need to do a lot of maneuvers, perhaps. I don't know, let's see if I can just burn down this way just a hair. Just a hair, I said, Jesus. That's why you need RCS, you fool. Alright, uh... Okay. Here we go. This thing is, is very unwieldy with that extension out. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I feel like the, the, the force from this uh, docking port is pulling us together. It's, it's doing some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Come on. Give it a little kiss. Give it a little kiss. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Can I aim the thing in here? Aim the camera at this, please. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right. Let's switch back over here and let's see if we can stay on target, please. Yes, thank you. You just stay on target. Why are you, why are you doing that? Why, why are you behaving this way? It's like not responding at all. Is it out of electricity? Yes. Out of electric charge. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Out of electric charge. I am an, a complete and utter fool. I forgot to put... Not only... Because I, I was going to put RTGs on here. And I forgot to. <laughs> so... So much for rendezvousing and dumping the remainder of fuel. <clears throat> not not going to happen. In fact, are we even going to be able to fly that thing home? I, I don't know. It has zero way to... Um, zero way to generate electricity at this point. So, hmm. This, this whole thing may be a bust. This whole thing may be a bust. I'll retract this. I'm going to retract this. We're going to go ahead and go on with the mission. Like we had intended originally. And, uh... Does this thing have any... This has RTGs on it. So if I could connect to this, then... It would probably be golden, but... Anyway. Okay. So. Should I continue to... Uh... I just don't know. What should I do? 
We're going to go ahead and detach this, I think. And we're going to try to land this thing at home. To hell... <coughs> to heck with... Uh, <laughs> almost said something else. To heck with something uh, with the refueling and all that. Okay. So. Let's, um... Let's zip on down to our periapsis. And we will, um... Try to do a landing, I guess. Huh? All right, let's do retrograde burn, and we're gonna bring in our orbit so that we don't have to worry about uh, that at least. Or should I just? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's burn down the orbit a little bit. No, not target. Orbit. Oh, God. What have we done? <laughs> I'm, such a, I'm such a buffoon sometimes. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and burn that orbit down. And then we'll, um, we'll put ourselves in a position to land, and hopefully get this thing going. Alright, so let's go ahead and circle around, as Ike circles around as well. <clears throat> and of course, our friend, the lander, is going to continue to, um, to orbit higher. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be ready to, uh, to drop this thing. I, I haven't tested this at all. This, this may not work. This may s fail spectacularly. Who knows? But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try to land this thing next to the, uh, the lander here. Best, oop, stop. Oh, this may be too late already. Okay. How are we looking on fuel on these? They feel... Completely full. Alright, we're going to detach and hopefully still be able to control this. Hopefully I did not forget to put something on here that would prevent me from controlling it. I'm going to decouple the node. Now this thing no longer has electricity. I should have at least put some like static uh, electric generators on there. Uh, activate the engine. Activate the engine. There we go. All right. So we got that. Um, I want to land next to him to the best of my ability, please. Holy cow! What's the deal with the delta V? It says. Oh, why is it? But like if something's not reading correctly or something, because it. It acts like I don't have Delta V, but obviously I do. I've got 35, 34 Delta V. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and control from here. All right, and we are going to put you in retrograde. And we are eight minutes from the burn. Oh, the burn time is eight minutes. Wow, I'm going to have to do that again then. That's not going to work. Um, let's add another maneuver here. Is the thrust to weight ratio like super small in this? I'm just going to try it because I don't trust those numbers because it's all messed up. It's not reading the... Because I didn't stage these engines, I think, is the reason why it's doing this. I don't, I'm not sure... Let's put this in here, put that in there. Okay. Um, let's just try it. Yeah, now it's working. Okay, good. Now it's working. That's what it was. Okay. So, we are going to... Oh, man, this is going to be hard. I should have put uh, RCS on this thing. It, this, the torque on this vessel is awful as well, by the way. Look at that. 
Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna fight this thing all the way down. How am I supposed to get an accurate landing when I'm fighting the torque on this thing? Uh, I thought having that on the sides like that would be just fine, but I guess the uh, with the pistons on the front, it's uh, it's not it's not fine. So. Come on. Are you serious right now? Brosif? What is happening? It's... it's. I'm not online correctly. What is this? Oh. Huh. Okay. So, something's not right as far as... I'm controlling from here, right? I should be pointing in... The opposite of my travel. But no, I'm pointing in the direction of my travel for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. There's the Ike outpost right there. I wonder if I can slow down in time. Nope. Not, not when it's like this. Not when it's like this. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is the worst idea ever. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. Good job for making the worst idea ever come to fruition. You're welcome. Don't try this at home, folks. This was a horrible idea. And, not to mention, I forgot the Convertitron. <laughs> so I could convert minerals to... to fuel. Alright, here we go. Oh, man, when those things are full, full bore, I can't hardly control it. I'm only at less than half. Less than half right now. Oh, God. Ugh. Come on, babies. Why? Why is the torque so bad? I mean, there's no drag, so I, I just don't understand, I guess, how torque works. I guess I'm gonna, jeez, uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna let it flow around, but I can't. This is do or die now at this point, because I've already dropped my periapsis enough. I'm gonna have to like, flip around. Flip around. Burn. Burn. <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. This is awful. This is the worst plan I've ever had. So I may have to just relaunch the entire mission. Oh my god, it's, this is completely out of control. Completely and utterly out of control. Alright, what can I do differently with this thing? Let's just stay low key like this and see if it can get us down so that we at least will be able to land at the landing spot. <clears throat> That's about as much thrust as it can handle. And uh, still be uh, viable as far as controlling it. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow down to zero, see if we can drift back that way a little bit, and uh, get on the planet's surface. Get on the planet's surface.
So we are dropping. So that's good. I, it may not be a good thing. I'm actually going to see if I can tip it up just a little. So that we can maybe not drop as quickly. Uh, who cares? We're just going to drop. That's just the way it is. But the thing is, it's all backwards. Uh, is the probe upside down or something? Can I invert it? Um, maybe I got the probe upside down. And that's why it's all backwards. That's probably what it is. Alright. So let's just go ahead and burn this way. Can I make this my target? Not from here. Can't from here though. Set as target. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to flip that around. So that my target flips around, hopefully. We're going to land, by God. Even if it's like 200,000 miles away from our target. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why? Why, Santa Claus? Why? Why are you stealing our Christmas tree? Why? It must be this the mass on the front here. It's got to be. I didn't anticipate it having this big of an effect on there. Well, I mean, you know, of course I, I knew it would have an effect, but you know, whatever. What ifs, bro? Okay, I'm gonna try to swing over here towards the target. No, I gotta go towards anti-target because of this crazy thing. Anti-target. Everything's backwards. Remember. Stop that. Stop that. Electricity's still good? Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Am I going to run out of liquid fuel, by the way? Is there liquid fuel in this? No. No? Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh my god. This is the worst trip ever. The worst trip ever. Alright, spin it around, baby. Spin it around. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now, how to get towards the, that thing. Just like this. This is what I need right here. I need to go towards that vessel. Oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die. Alright, here we go. Everything's all screwed up and backwards and it's just... I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. Alright, since 9000 is the altitude we have to burn, but since I have to burn so slowly, I better start burning now. Then we might be able to do some bunny hops towards the uh, the outpost over there, or perhaps the outpost could come to us. I don't know. I don't. It's it's awfully tedious to move that thing because it, the legs will come down. <laughs> this is overall this mission has been awful. I have not had a successful. Uh, showing on this 
whole Ike thing. Yeah, this thing's gonna crash. There's no way I can slow down in time. Not with the torque on this. Yeah, let's just yeah, it's it's gone. Yeah, it's dead. It's a dead. Yeah, that's too bad. Now we got a landing leg. Couple landing legs. All right, I'm gonna switch to this. <clears throat> Cannot switch to vessels. Well, I'm about to crash. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I feel like it's already crashed, right? At this point, have we not crashed? Pretty successfully, I'd say. So, complete and utter failure of the Ike outpost. I think we need to just start all over. Just completely, this part, start all over, this, the, just a complete redo. I wish I could switch freaking vessels. Stop. Can you please stop rolling? Apparently I'm never gonna get to switch vessels while. Yeah, I can't even switch, okay. Yeah, huge, huge, uh, huge failure. Two hours later. All right, so as much as I want to allow that to crash and all that stuff, apparently I, I can't switch off of it because it's never going to stop rolling. <laughs> it's just rolling and rolling and rolling. So we're, we're just going to do a quick, quick load. And we will, um, I guess not, uh... I don't know. Not land? This thing does not have electricity. Um, this thing... Take off these. Take off those. No auto struts on any of that. Please. Okay. I'm going to control from here. Aim the camera right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to try to merge these up and for some reason. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Let's see if we can... <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can turn up the acquisition force on this. And see if we can just get connected, please. Now, ha ha ha, ho ho ho, hee hee hee, the funny farm. Okay, here we go. This thing needs liquid fuel to come in. This thing needs liquid fuel to go out. So, if I can cl click the right button, we'll make that happen. And we're going to go out with the liquid fuel on this thing. Pump that full of liquid fuel. Okay. And what we got in these tanks? It's still got some liquid fuel? Yeah. We're going to let that crash into the surface because this is worthless. Did we charge up the electric charge? Yes, we, we're, we're working on it. Um, these things need to be on this, on this. This is some, woo, look at the torque getting applied to that thing. My God. Okay, well, we could just detach this. Let's just go ahead and grab all the fuel from these. And... Is there any left? I think that's all of them. Oh, seriously? Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. 
go. Now, they are empty. Okay, so this still has fuel, all right? Yes, so if I detach this, if I detach him, undock, okay, he can now send himself to his death via these rockets. Activate engine, activate engine. Or, if, well, let's just try it. Looks like we do have some fuel left in these somewhere. Where's the fuel left at? Uh, oh, in here. Oh. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, so let's just bring this thing to its death here. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's turn on SAS. Let's go to the periapsis, and we probably should go around to this apps or apoapsis here, and then we're just going to bring in our periapsis so that it smashes into the planet. That is the plan, and then. We're going to try to launch the uh, the other guy up. This was this was failed, so I'm just going to crash it. This has failed, so we are going to crash it. All right. All right, there we go. That's going to crash into the planet now. Yes, yes it will. Okay. So I'm going to switch over to this guy. He's good, right? Except he didn't have any electric charge. Okay, that's fine. But he's fine orbit-wise, yes. He's fine orbit-wise. Okay. So now... Stop. Wait, why am I time warping? I want to switch to the outpost. The outpost here... Does it have fuel left... To just take back off and do a full dock without. It's got 12.43. Probably not then. Let's retract the drills. No reason to mine ore because we can't uh, do anything with it. Okay. Should I go ahead and just leave this here? Maybe I should. Let's just go ahead and leave this here. Leave the outpost here. And send the Kerbals back up to this. I'm going to see if this works. Ah! Ah! It's not working! She's gonna die! Ouch. Well, she didn't die, but that did hurt. Alright. Jim Doc? I blame this on you, Jim Doc. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna blame it on you. Somebody's gotta take the blame. Aren't you the commander of this mission? I don't remember. Who is the commander of this mission? Let's get on board that. So Jim Doc is there, veering. It's pilot. Could be the pilot's fault. <laughs> Can't be the engineer's fault. That forgot to put all the proper parts on the ship. Never. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, bad. 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 That's bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay. And Noobles. Hatches are obstructed for Noobles. Noobles is trapped! Oh god, Noobles is trapped. Okay. Can we push this up? Can, can this thing work? Oh, 
Uh, can I, ooh, we can transfer in the module here. Okay. Transfer the crew noobles to this. Noobles can come out this other door now, right? Yes. Yes, it can. All right. Noobles, it's time for you to fly, my friend. Get flying. Do you want to get some science while you're here before we leave? I don't know, like a surface sample or something? Why not? Okay. Get on board. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Nobody in there. Everybody's out, right? Okay. We are going to detach this. Okay, here we go. Oh my. This is going to be tricky. There we go. Okay. How much Delta V does this thing have? Zero. How about now? Zero. There's no fuel in here. <laughs> oh, congratulations, guys. You're stuck. She didn't hear me. She didn't hear me say she was stuck. Let me guess this has plenty of fuel, right? Well, it's got 13.06. All right. I don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reload it. I don't care. I don't know, but I've been told. All right, we're going to try this again. All right, but this time first, I'm going to transfer all the fuel into this guy up here. Just transfer all the fuel up there. Lots of fuel left, uh, as far as units. So, hopefully, with the uh, small amount of thrust this thing has, we can get the curls up into orbit. I hope. Now, I can't, uh, I can't transfer these guys to this, can I? Nah. Can't do it. Okay. Alright. Transfer crew. I want everybody that's in here to transfer down there. Transfer down to there. Oh, there's only two people can be in there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. A part is full, sure. Alright. Let's just move you on up. Let's see if I can get these guys up here without t tipping the rocket over this time. Jim Doc, you're next. Just, just get away from the rocket. Get away from the rocket. Get away from the rocket. All right, here we go. Jim Doc, you're the engineer. It's your fault. It's your fault. You're the space engineer. Board that. All right. So now for the scientist. Scientist is last, but not least. Don't tip the rocket over. You did it last time too, didn't you? Dirty dog. He just likes to tip the rock. No, no, no. Don't tip over rocket. You just like tipping over rockets. You're a rocket tipper. Not unlike a cow tipper but much more serious. Because you could have a massive explosion on your hands here. Okay. And here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Apparently that's just going to happen. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and detach this. 
I'm gonna switch over to him. No. How about him? Yeah. Why don't you roll on over here? It's got 2,000 Delta V. That's not bad. Okay. So, let's stand you up if we can. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty. So, who's going, who's taking his helm? Let's time warp a little bit. Let these guys separate so I can see who's, who's taking his helm and who's just going to crash. I think this guy is taking his helm, so we're going to set him as our target. Yes, okay. All right, target periapsis is 35,000. So, what we're going to do is we got to get up to 35,000. So, let's, um, I guess, activate this engine. I probably should save it. Quick save. And uh, let's, let's give it a shot. Holy cow, this thing rides like a bucking bronco. Uh, guys? Why is it, why are you looking like this? There we go. Let's change this to orbit, please. There we go. That was weird. What was we controlling it from? Okay. Here we go. Let's go this way. We want a 35,000... About, well, let's go about 33. Okay. Uh, what? Why, don't, why does it look like that? Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Okay. Something like that. <laughs> this is awful. Okay. Let's go up to here. And we're going to fix our angle. Luckily, we got plenty of fuel. This is the worst rendezvous I've ever done, by the way. There we go. There we now we're at zero. All right, good. Where is the freaking lander at anyway? He's over there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and burn prograde then and get into an orbit. And then we can make adjustments so that we uh, can rendezvous with one another here. All right. So we have two orbits here that uh, will probably never intersect. <laughs> Let's add a maneuver here and see what we can get with a few orbits here. Let's see what we can get as far as getting closer. Yeah, we're, we're, we're never getting close enough. All right, so what we need to do is... Uh, See if we can get our, our orbits in an alignment that would facilitate a connection like right there. That's 83 delta V. That's not bad. Okay. What's our, let's see, 10 kilometers there. 
Let's see if we can get her down to about 0.3. Yeah, it's pretty good. Can we get closer? How about 0.1? How about that? I like them apples. Let's warp to the next maneuver. Oh, great. Hopefully that doesn't fire up the uh, <laughs> surface sensors. That was the, our other ship crashing. Gave us a bunch of uh, good science. All right, here we go. Um, 83 delta V. Burn time's only two seconds. Let's get ready to do that burn. And uh, hope for the best. This has a reaction wheel, right? It's got no power generation, though. Although it's got lots of electric charge stored, no generation. I think I was thinking eh, it's not going to be in the air that long, la da la, which is true, but the other vessel doesn't have generation either, which is a problem. Okay, so now we're at 3.4. Let's do our target here. We're going to fly up to here. And we are going to decrease our relative speeds to not. And then we should be good to do a rendezvous. And Down to zero, please. That will basically batch our mat, batch, match our orbits. Okay. But unfortunately, it messed messed us up. I got a little too close. All right. So now I'm going to burn towards Brosif until we can get a good intersection again. There we go. Point six. I'm going to warp up to there. Let's wait till we get it within about 30 seconds. And then we're going to kill our relative speed again. And then um, we should be able to make the connection. All right, here we go. Kill our relative speed. There we go. Now I'm going to fly towards him one more time. How far are we away are we right now? 600 meters. If I could see him. Not quite yet. All right, here we go. We're going to zoom towards him. All right. Get ready, Freddy. We're coming up on him. We should get within a few meters. There we go. We're going to go ahead and kill our relative speed so we can transfer the curvils over. And then uh, see if we can fly this thing home in the next episode. Because, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out and leave the seat, please. All right. And... Find yourself oriented. There it is with the landing pods. Okay, my God, I tell you what, this has been, <laughs> this has been the worst mission I've ever done. The worst mission. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this thing home. It doesn't have any power. It doesn't have any electric power. How the heck am I going to do it? I don't know. 
We may have to wait for the next mission to get here to bring us some power generators. All right, here we go. Who needs electricity? Right? I'm going to go ahead and zip this thing over just a little bit here. All right. Let's just get it a little bit closer. That way we don't have to fly quite so far. We're going to fly by it. Stop. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! Okay. I'm just making a mess now, at this point. Okay. Can I turn the throttle down, like, way down? There we go. Alright. He is going to do an EVA report, why not? And, uh, leave the seat. Yep, and he is going to get on board. Here we go. Just like that, just like that, just like that. Alright, and finally, Jim Doc, she's going to leave her seat. As much fun as it's been. She's ready to go home after a complete failure of a mission. I mean, they landed on Ike. That's something. The outpost crashed. Made a big mess. So, you know. Overall, not a super successful mission. But, they're alive. So that's something. Okay, we're going to see if we can get this thing. Get this, get this thing. Oh, I can't do anything with it. I got limited probe control. Yeah, nothing. Can't do anything with it. Okay, that's something. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. Next episode, we'll bring these people home, and we will um, plan our next mission to a failure of an Ike outpost. Bye. Kerbal's waiting by the window, vaguely looking down at their saw, and hoping possibly Jebediah will come home with some rock. From